G'day, welcome to Britlosophy. My name is Tech, and I'm coming to you from the lands of the Wajik people on whose lands I live and work. Now, I came home from a business trip last night, and this morning I went to the post office, and look what was waiting for me. G'day. This is Editor Tech interrupting this uh, video. I just wanted to leave you a short message to wish you a Merry Christmas uh, and a Happy New Year in 2023. Uh, I'm also letting you know that I'm taking a break. This is my last video for the year. Uh, I'm going to take a little break because I need a bit of time off. Uh, this is not my everyday profession, of course. I have a, a real day job and a business to run. Uh, and doing these videos actually take me quite a lot of time. It takes me a good half day to research and uh, write the notes or, or the script uh, in note form for each video that I take and uh, then uh, filming it and editing it and so on. Uh, basically doing a pair of videos every weekend takes me a whole day out of my time. So I'm going to take a bit of a break now um, and, and not upload any videos for a while. I'll be back in January, mid-January. So make sure you, that you're subscribed so that when I'm back, you're informed when I come back with a lot more boot reviews, uh, boot videos, uh, and a look into the makers of, of the, these things that we all love. So everybody, Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, and let's get back to the video. So these are two boxes from Bordon, Colombia. Um, I've been expecting this for a while and I'm really excited to open them. So let's uh, separate the boxes first and go from there. This first box, let's just open one of them and see what's in there. In the shipping box, that's a brand new uh, colored box, it's brilliant. There's a little card. Thanks for your support, Tech. Thanks for your purchase and for your patience. It took a little bit longer than expected due to the 100% made handmade process. We believe the delay will have been worthwhile once you've seen them. Well, I hope so. I'm really excited. Please enjoy them and we hope they can accompany you on all of your journeys and important occasions. That's fantastic. So let's get this out of the box. Bordon handmade boots. And oh, which ones are these? They come in their uh, boot bags. Again, I think this is new material for Bordon. Really exciting, of course. The Bordon uh, Weltrich shoes symbol logo. And this is the Isidro Chelsea boot. And this version is on the Commando Soul. Wax flesh, dark brown wax flesh, stitch down construction, double row stitch down, sewn through to the outsole. It's an It's Hide Commando Soul, English company. It's Hide Commando uh, top lift heel. You can see how thick that is. Uh, veg tan uh, stacked leather heel, veg tan midsole. And this, I believe this is uh, Italian uh, wax suede from Badalasi Carlo. Nice strong goring. And of course, the very expected now party going on inside, uh, bright orange lining. It's a fully lined boot. Absolutely fantastic. I can't see any loose stitching or any errors or marks. Let's open the other one. Oh, the smell of the waxy suede is brilliant. And here's the other one. Oh, I see a surprise in there. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. And again, the stitching is really almost perfect. The lining feels nice and smooth. There's a pull tab at the back. Let's maybe take a closer look. 
That's a really nice looking boot, isn't it? The shape of the uh, slope down the, down the front of the boot, down the instep, it's really nice. The uh, last, I believe, is the same as the original Tucano last, so that really fits my foot really well. Solid heel support, and I can feel that wax. Lovely, I'm dying to get these on my feet. And yes, inside the box, there's a card on boot care. To properly care for your boots, you must take the following steps. After wearing them, use a shoe tree to keep the boots shape and avoid moisture. Remove the dust and dirt with a natural bristle brush. Use exclusively uh, beeswax to maintain the rough out suede. Do not use oily care products or anything that will not be able for waxy suede. Uh, as your boots has the new leather heel counter, so there's a leather heel counter in there, please use the shoe horn inside of the box to care properly for the structure of your boot. And they give you a... Oh, and that's a... Lovely shoehorn. I don't think it's plastic. I think it might be something like, like a horn of a cow or something. That's fantastic. So that's one boot. Let's open the other box. Now, why do you say? Why have I got two? This is also an Isidro boot, uh, the Bordon's Chelsea model. So what's so different about this one? Let's take a look if I don't slice my fingers open. I've got the same thank you card. We appreciate your continued support and hope your channel is doing well. Well, this is a personal message. Thank you, Andres. We are confident that it will keep expanding with you and your loved ones and anticipate Merry Christmas. See you next year. Merry Christmas to you too, Andres. Thank you for this very personal message. So here we are again. We've got this bright orange box. Let's turn it upside down. Out fell the shoehorn, but we knew it was there. Let's flip it over. Same board on box, shoehorn. And it's a different boot, of course. What have I got? This one is on the wedge sole. So this is a medium brown wax suede. You can see it was a, a darker color before. Um, the wax will wear off and give it a nice patina as the nap of the uh, suede comes off. But it is on a Vibram wedge sole. It's a Christy wedge sole. Oh, I think this one's going to be really comfortable. Can you see the thickness of that double midsole? That natural veg tan double midsole. Look at how thick that is. It's looking lovely. And again, I can smell that beeswax coming at you. If only you had smell o vision. The same party going on inside matches the box. Uh, again, stitch down, double row stitching, and the outer row going right through. The midsole, which is probably why it's a super thick, uh, super thick midsole. Sorry, I slipped out of camera there. Um, because of this second row going through the uh, midsole and not through the Christie sole, because that's just glued on, uh, it's, that's probably why it needs the second veg tan midsole. By the way, in case you're concerned that uh, this outsole isn't stitched on, if you talk to most of the PNW uh, boot makers, they'll tell you that the stitching is actually for reinforcement because um, the glues now are expected to do the job forever and the stitching is merely reinforcement. So that's an excellent looking boot. Let's have a look at the other one. Yes, once again, that is a lovely model. I'm dying to get these on feet. Again, the stitching is really excellent. This is all hand stitched, of course. Lovely density. And the uh, accuracy and density of that stitching on the stitch down with uh, what looks like very thick thread. That's just a marvel. 
And of course, you know what I'm going to do next? Let's put them on foot. So let's try these on foot. I'll put the uh, Vibram wedge soles first. Oh, goodness, they're heavy. That's great. <laughs> The wax leather is stiff to start with, of course. Um, I'm quite used to the RM Williams two pull tab thing, so getting these in and opening the front of the boot is a little strange at the moment. Oh, they slip in perfectly, and they are a perfect fit as usual. Um, the sole, I think, is pretty tough, so I think that's going to um, need a little bit of breaking in. But uh, it feels great. There's no heel slip already, I can feel. No heel slip at all. The fit around the ball of the foot is fantastic. But as you can see, because of that um, double veg tan midsole, <laughs> it's, not <easy. laughs> it's not easy to bend. So that is going to need a bit of breaking in, I think, to make sure that I'm walking with my natural gait. There's a little bit of squeakiness, but you can expect that from natural leather. Now, because they're stiff, let's see how we get them off. Came off reasonably easily. That's what I love about Chelsea boots, really. Once they break in, they're so good. Commander Soul. Oh, again. Just the perfect fit. The ball of the feet, room in the toes. My heel feels already cupped. There's enough snugness around the insteps to make me feel secure in Chelsea boots. This rubber goring is quite tight, so that feels as if you're secure here, which you need to since you can't lace it up. Interesting. This one feels less difficult to bend, and so I think will probably be a little easier to, uh, to break in. Although the softness of the wedge sole already, I feel that's going to be a comfortable walking boot. And you can see the difference between the two wax suede, the dark brown and the medium brown. Well, here we go, boys. I think we're going to enjoy trying these on. So as most of you will know by now, Bordon Colombia is a Colombian bootmaking company that really only started uh, just a little over a year ago. Uh, I bought their second batch Tucano boot. I was so impressed with it. I got some fantastic communications from the co-owner, Andres. Uh, we've gone back and forth. Uh, I've been really supportive of his boots. Uh, so now when these came on in, I think this was the fourth batch, in a Chelsea boot in two different styles with the, uh, the wedge sole and the commander sole, which I can't show you because it's on my feet. I love them so much. Um, I, I went in for, again. They're a made-to-order boot. So uh, when you put in your order and you have to wait a little while to get them, I think the period has varied from four uh, to eight to 10 weeks, depending how it goes. Postage to Australia, DHL took less than two weeks to get them into Australia. Then because I put a PO box as my uh, uh, address, uh, DHL handed over to Australia Post, which took about four days, four or five days. And I probably could have got them uh, four or five days earlier if I just had them couriered by DHL to my home. I'm very impressed. They have uh, a new, uh, uh, the heel counter is new uh, leather heel counter rather than celastic. So is the toe puff. Um, the wax leather uh, comes from Badalassi Carlo. Uh, top, top grade, you know, Vibram outsoles. It's hide outsoles for the commando soles. They're currently having, they only have batches um, uh, over a number of months, uh, but they recently just put on a small batch order. So if you want to head over to the website, and I'll put a link in the description uh, below this video, uh, where you can go and have a look at their small batches and try and order one before they run out. All right, guys, take it easy. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe uh, and be safe. I'll see you soon.